A bird in New York City doesn't have it easy. Whether it's flying into a building, a car, a bicycle, dogs, pollution, lead poisoning. This is not nature's natural course. We have interfered with it. My name is Rita McMahon, and I'm the co-founder and director of the Wild Bird Fund, New York City's one and only wildlife rehabilitation center. We take in birds that anyone has found, and we do our best to make it whole so that it can go back to the wild. The atmosphere at the Wild Bird Fund is something of a three-ring circus. There's the ISO room, the waterfowl room, reception area, and downstairs is a whole nother thing. There are a couple of hundred birds down there. They may be flying around in the air as people are scurrying around, cleaning the cages, giving them meds, and feeding them. We deal with 135 different species. This past week, we had a Canada goose, seven kestrels, a rowdy bunch of juvenile herring gulls, this year, 2016, we will treat well over 4,000 birds. By being in New York City where the animal is found, we are able to save many more animals. They would die before they could get help in another state or another county. People can come to you via subway or bus and they can get the animal to you faster. It's exciting. You never really know who's gonna walk through that door or what they're holding in that box. I was at my store and uh, I saw the pigeon. I saw that he was like bleeding on the floor like pretty bad. I didn't even know that they took in pigeons. Any animal that is picked up is in really bad shape. 50% will die or are euthanized. If we can reduce the suffering, that's a good thing too. But 50% go free. When the bird's better, you try to return it to where it came. If it's an adult bird, it might have family, friends, it knows where to live. The migratory birds, they're just passing through. You're really just trying to put them in a safe place so that they can continue their journey.